Hi parents, before we start the episode, remember that your family can enjoy hundreds of fun and educational free videos for kids of all ages. Be sure to subscribe and get all the new shows and updates at PragerUKids.com. Craftery by Prager You Kids. Crafts, history, and your questions. I'm Jill, and today we've got a craft that's going to float your boat on real water. <laughs> yes, we're making a DIY flat boat to celebrate the majestic history and spirit of the Mississippi River. Oh, we've got a question. Why is the Mississippi River? So important. Well, the Mississippi River is one of the longest rivers in North America and spans about 2,350 miles through the United States. It flows north to south from the state of Minnesota mm. all the way down to Louisiana. Without the Mississippi River and the trade and communities it helped create, America would not have grown into the great nation it now is. Here's what you'll need for our craft. Cardboard, I got this from an old box. A ruler, a pen, scissors, duct tape. This is a super thick and heavy duty kind of tape. Ask your parents to help you find some. Straws, two large popsicle sticks, and hot glue. Be careful with that one as always. Okay, here we go. Take your cardboard. We're gonna draw a rectangle on this cardboard that is about seven inches tall and 10 inches wide. It doesn't have to be exact. Now, cut it out. Woo! Now, take your ruler again and line it up against the edge of one of your sides. Doesn't matter which side. Draw a line all the way across, just like that. Continue doing this all the way around on all four sides of the rectangle. Now, we're going to cut these little squares out at each corner. One, two, three, and four. Before we continue, I wanna tell you a little bit about the Mississippi River. It has been important since ancient times. It was used for transportation and as a major trade route, first with Native American tribes who lived in the area for thousands of years, then by European settlers. After the Louisiana Purchase in 1803, the United States gained control of the Mississippi River and American explorers started heading west. The Lewis and Clark Expedition used the river to travel and make discoveries. And many pioneers in the 1800s began their westward journeys in wagon trains, flatboats, and steamboats from the city of St. Louis, where the Mississippi River and the Missouri River meet. Let's continue making our flat boat and I'll tell you more. Take your cardboard with the little squares cut out at the corners and bend the edges up to make little walls. It helps if you use your ruler to do this. Nice! Much easier. Now, lay everything flat again and get your heavy duty tape. What we're about to do might be the most important part of our craft. But before we do it, I wanna tell you a little bit more. The Mississippi River was like a big highway for people to move their things and families. During the 1800s, communities sprouted up along the river and eventually created cities for boats to stop. Minneapolis, Minnesota, St. Louis, Missouri, and New Orleans, Louisiana are just a few cities that developed thanks to people traveling on the river. Now, is your heavy duty tape ready? Because we're about to make our flat boat waterproof so that it can float. Cover every part of our cardboard with the tape. Huh. 
Ugh. So right here, we have this little space where our blank corner is, right? Cut it out. You gotta keep these corners open. There we go. Keep going. And make sure you do the back side too. Oh, hey. How'd you do? All done? Good job. So, now that we've waterproofed this, let's talk about the river itself. The Mississippi River has more than 260 species of fish, including the American paddlefish, one of the largest freshwater fish in North America. Pretty cool, right? The river's name comes from the native Ojibwa tribe word Missy Zibi, which means Great River which makes sense because there are 10 states that border the Mississippi River. Minnesota, Wisconsin, Iowa, Illinois, Missouri, Kentucky, Tennessee, Arkansas, Mississippi, and Louisiana. Woo! Okay, let's finish this flat boat. Fold those sides back up to make our little walls. Otherwise, people are gonna fall out of this flat boat. Take your heavy duty tape. We're gonna stick the corners together and then curve it over to fold over to the inside. See, it takes practice, but it'll work. Do you wanna take this next level? Yeah. I do too. Let's glue these straws around the outside to make it look like a real flat boat. Hot glue, be careful. Along the edge. Straw on top. Very gently. Don't touch the glue. For the long sides, we're gonna cut these straws in half and you'll see why. Glue one half first on each side. You're gonna wanna leave a gap about the size of your finger right about here. And cut the straws accordingly so that we can glue them on. Use that piece to measure the next piece. And glue it on the edge very carefully. And leave that gap. All right, now it's looking like a Mississippi River flat boat. Okay, it's time to make the oars for our flat boat. Pick up your popsicle sticks and you're going to cut off the ends so that each rounded part is about two inches long. There we go, just like that, got it? Next, take two straws and we're going to make them a little bit shorter. Now, you're gonna cut teeny tiny slits right across the straw. See? Two teeny tiny slits. Now, take the popsicle sticks and put the rounded part between those little slits you just cut in the straw, like this. Tape it together. There's no right or wrong way to do it. You just wanna wrap it around to keep that paddle secure. Don't forget to do it for the other oar because you need two. <laughs> Are you ready for the river? Ta-da! It's so cute! Paddle, 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 paddle. <laughs> hey! We need to see if this floats. You want to find out? Tub, please. Oh, thank you. Water, please. <gasps> Very nice. Ready, set, float. <laughs> it worked! The Mississippi River was a lifeline for early Americans exploring land to the west for trade and new communities. It is a symbol of America's determination, spirit, 
and the challenges our country faced throughout history. I say we take this out to a real river or a stream and do a boat race, yes? Yes. <laughs> we hope you had fun. If you've got ideas or questions for our next craftery, send them our way. Keep crafting, keep learning, and keep celebrating land of the free and home of the brave. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching. You know we've got more episodes, right? Watch the whole series on our website. And parents, you can subscribe at PragerUKids.com.